From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm David Byrd reporting nearly 100 people were killed by twin bombings at a rally in Ankara, Turkey. At least 95 people died and more than 240 were injured when two bombs exploded at the peace rally in the central part of the city. As Dorian Jones reports, at least one of the bombs appeared to be a suicide attack. Video shot at a peace rally captured the festive atmosphere moments before the blast, then carnage. The two explosions caused by suspected suicide bombers tore through the crowd, causing death and what witnesses described as horrendous injuries. Ambulances and even taxis rushed the wounded to nearby hospitals. The rally organized by Turkey Civic Society and the pro-Kurdish movement was expected to draw tens of thousands of people, calling for an end to the fighting between the Turkish security forces and the Kurdish rebel group, the Kurdistan Workers' Party, or PKK. So far, no group has claimed responsibility for Saturday's attack. But in July, the Islamic State group was blamed for a suicide bombing targeting pro-Kurdish activists, killing more than 30 activists. Dorian Jones of EOA News, Istanbul. Russia says it has stepped up airstrikes against Islamic State extremists in Syria in support of Syrian troops who have seized two villages north of Hama since late Friday. Russia's Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov, speaking to Russian reporters Saturday, linked the rising number of strikes to what he called significant growth in the number of ground targets detected through aerial and satellite reconnaissance. Here in Washington, top U.S. defense officials held a secure video conference with their Russian counterparts as part of a push to promote safe flight operations in increasingly crowded Syrian airspace. This is VOA News. Authorities in Chad say at least 33 locals and Nigerian refugees were killed when as many as five female suicide bombers attacked two sites near the Nigerian border. Police immediately linked the attacks in the town of Bagasola to Boko Haram Islamists. Police and hospital officials say at least 50 people were wounded in and near the town located on the shores of Lake Chad. Chad is a leading contributor, that is, to a regional task force set up to fight Boko Haram, whose attacks have spread in recent years from northeastern Nigeria to Chad, Cameroon, and Niger. Palestinians carried out two stabbing attacks in Jerusalem on Saturday before being shot dead by police, while another two Palestinians were killed during a violent demonstration near the Gaza border fence. Two Palestinians were killed in separate incidents in East Jerusalem. One man stabbed three policemen, seriously wounding one of them before he was shot dead by police. Earlier, a Palestinian teenager stabbed two Israelis before police killed him. On the Gaza frontier, meanwhile, protests resumed Saturday afternoon with dozens of Palestinians throwing stones and rolling burning tires toward Israeli troops along the border fence. Gaza health officials said the Israeli forces shot dead a 13-year-old and an 11-year-old. The Israeli military said it fired toward protesters who approached the border. U.S. President Barack Obama says the Trans-Pacific Partnership deal reached this past week between the United States and 11 other nations promotes American values and protects American workers. In his weekly media address, the president said the TPP will help eliminate high taxes on U.S. goods overseas. It eliminates more than 18,000 of these taxes on American goods and services. And that way, we're boosting America's farmers, ranchers, manufacturers, and small business owners, make it easier for them to sell their products abroad. 
Meanwhile, in Germany, hundreds of thousands of people rallied against the transatlantic trade and investment partnership, a free trade accord being negotiated between the United States and the European Union. Thousands of people waving flags, carrying signs, and listening to speeches and songs gathered on the National Mall in Washington Saturday for the 20th anniversary of Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan's Million Man March. Attention has been focused on the relationship of African-American men with law enforcement following several high-profile police-involved killings, including in Ferguson, Missouri, Cleveland, Ohio, and Baltimore, Maryland. For more on these stories, log on to our website, voanews.com. I'm David Bird in Washington. That's the latest world news from VOA.